Hello, welcome to my channel and craft room. I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please click the like button and leave a comment. Both of these things really help out my channel, plus I love to interact and chat with you all. I would also love it if you subscribe so we can craft along together in future videos too. You can find me on other social media platforms as well. Those links will be in the description box under each video. I'd love for us to connect there too. Right, let's get crafting. Hello everyone and welcome back to part four working on the um, envelope journal that I'm doing for the giveaway. Uh, I have done a couple of bits off of camera but before I do anything in the last video when I was putting together this last section with this envelope pocket I said that I'd made a mistake so I just want to very quickly go over the mistake that I'd made. So on the inside I had used um, this music paper and I was trying to feed it all the way down. The problem was, is when I first pushed it in, I thought, oh, the window, you need to have the paper coming past the window. But when I obviously glued it down here and um, the paper then covered there, yes, it did look pretty because you could see the music paper through. However, that also meant that no matter what I put into the pocket, you wouldn't be able to see what that is because the music paper was in the way. And obviously that wasn't what I was going for. I wanted the window so you could see what was in the pocket. Uh, so all I did is I uh, trimmed off that part, um, up, that, anything that was past the window. I have put some washi tape there just to kind of um, seal that now and put that in place. Uh, but I just wanted to let you know that is the bit that I did wrong in the last video. Um, I'd glued this top part and I had the music paper going all the way down um, but obviously that then meant that you can't see through this acetate you would have just seen the music paper all of the time um, so I've changed that I have added a couple of little bits so um, you may have noticed I have added velcro dots originally I wasn't going to have a closure for this but I decided that it needed something um, to help it close also the trifold tag um, obviously this collage part and that collage part are already you know quite decorated and I've left the inside um, for the person to journal on however because this is obviously a paler and simpler tag this one um, I did add this at the bottom so it says see the beauty of this life um, and then I just added some bits there um, and they're the bits that you see through the window uh, in the envelope and I just thought that looked really nice seeing that coming through so that's that envelope um, I have also added in my holes and my eyelets so I was thinking about the type of um, binding that I wanted to do um, and I'm going to go for elastic binding I have unfortunately run out of my white elastic so I have ordered some more it is on its way it should be here in the next day or two um, so I will obviously get that bit finished when that arrives um, but I've already punched my holes and set my eyelid so that's all ready to go for the signatures um, I have decorated the tops of these tags so this one just has some lace on the top uh, we've got this one where I have threaded through some ribbon and tied a little bow and then this one I've just ruffled up some of the um, it's like a dark red ribbon I thought it went quite nicely with obviously the dark red that we've already got uh, and then that just goes in there I tried not to make them come out too much because obviously we've got this that folds over here now originally I was going to have this envelope underneath here but because of obviously this envelope being quite bulky that means this then pops up. So I have swapped it round now so that's going to come on top. It is still a little bit bulky um, but I think it will make the signatures lay easier um, if this is on top than having this one slanted. Um, another bit that I have done is I've filled up these pockets. So these are all just little cut aparts from the kit. Um, I have tea stained on the back, uh, sorry, stuck them to tea stained paper on the back. Um, there's a little vellum envelope with just some tickets and goodies and bits in there. Uh, oh, I added the labels as well. So I've got flourish, grow and blossom. So they're in the kit as well. We've got this journaling cards that again, I've just added um, 
a sentence at the top. I've got um, a sticker sheet that just has all these different kind of sayings and things on. So I've just been using that. So a memory to hold. That one goes in there again. Tea stained paper on the back. I had that in that top one. In the next pocket, uh, this was the circle from this window tag. I just made it into a tag. So I've stuck one of the tabs that is also in the kit. And then I've put, again, that dark red ribbon. And then that is now a journaling card. So we've got that one. And uh, this is one of the tags. And again, I've just put some ribbon inside. So that goes in there as well. And then, yeah, as I was showing you in the last pocket, we've got that envelope of goodies and then that little journaling card. So those bits all go in there. Um, and then we've got the belly band that was going here. So I made this in a previous video. I was playing around with this background dye that I absolutely love. So I've got this journaling card that I wanted to add. Um, and I thought this would look go perfect with the belly band here. So to make this belly band, I've just used, um, it was a scrap from the kit. It was actually a cut off of this part. So it is blue underneath. Um, you may not be able to see it on camera, but you can kind of see it through the lace. Um, so I've got two bits of lace on there. I have obviously this leafy trim that I put up the middle. I've glued some little flowers on there. And I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but I've got two kind of iridescent butterflies that I've just hand stitched on and then I've put some tape on the back so that um, when you're sliding things in and out it doesn't sort of catch on the knots um, but yeah I thought those were really pretty and that's going to go on there so let's get that bit stuck in because I haven't actually attached that yet um, but yeah I, I wanted to get some bits done off of camera only because obviously this is video four so it's already becoming quite a long build I don't like to do overly long videos so I didn't really want to be either having this video very long or having very more videos after this one um, because yeah as I say I don't like having overly long videos anyway right let's pop that roughly in the middle about there but yeah, I'm so happy with this belly band. I thought it just came together and it's so pretty. I really love the butterflies on there. It just looks so nice. So that's going to glue on there. I am going to tuck that in, but obviously I'm going to wait for the glue to dry first. So I'm just going to leave that there and close those two pieces up and move it over just so you can see what I've done on this side. Oh, wrong way round. So obviously we have this windowed pocket. Now I have created a journaling card to go inside. So again, just using up some of the scraps that I had. Again, one of those um, sentiments from that thing. Um, I recently did a swap. Um, I can't remember if it was a swap or happy mail, but I've been doing sort of happy mails and swaps and things uh, recently. And I've obviously received back. So I had this die cut in there and I thought this was just so pretty and again went with the flaws in here. So I've used the die cut here um, and this is actually an old card base. I've just opened it up backwards. So there's some journaling space as well. And then I've just attached one of the tabs from the kit and that uh, just slots in there. And then I love that you can obviously see that floral pattern through the window. Um, when this flips up, so we've got this pocket so again, I have just um, decorated the tag, so added ribbon to the top of that one. Again, that dark red ribbon, but a little bit of the lace as well. And then I've added some washi tape down at the bottom. Again, one of the words from the sentiment set. Um, and where I'd kind of torn down that washi, I'd use the other half here. So that's decorating that one. And I think, oh yeah, I had a bit of washi on the back of that one as well. And then this was the window that came out of here. This was that hole. Uh, so again, I just used one of the labels from the kit there. Um, one of the tabs, find your loveliness. Um, and I thought, again, that could be a little bit of writing space there. So I'm going to pop those back in. Ooh. And then last but not least, we have... This obviously main envelope here, this big one 
Um, and then this is the envelope that's in the kit. I've just again added some bits down here. So I've got a label, a little bit of lace, um, a butterfly that again came in some Happy Mail uh, and some die cuts. Uh, my sister actually sent me a bunch of wax seals that she did. Um, so I uh, decided to use one on here and then I've just gone over it in gold so that leaf really stands out. Um, it's not obviously sealed attached I've just glued it to um, this part it just weighs it down to keep the envelope closed and then inside I have a few different goodies so I've got a couple of the journaling, journaling cards that are in the kit again tea stained paper on the back and then just some little added extras so there's a, a kind of vellum strip there uh, and then a few different tickets the word condemned uh, but yeah, just some little bit of goodies in there. And that goes in that main envelope. Okay, so that's basically the folio part done. I am still trying to decide whether I want to add something to kind of hold this closed. Um, I'm not sure yet. It would mean putting a policy closure on here and then on here. And then just kind of tying these two together. Which I might do because then it will just hold that bit shut. Um... But yeah, we'll, I'll have to see how it looks when I've got these signatures in. Right, that then slots under there. That's now in place. Excellent. Oh, and um, I also did this on the flap here. So I don't know if you can see that. So I used um, a thin strip of this fabric. I then used um, a really thin strip of this, which I kind of like twisted and rolled up underneath and then I just used little segments of the leaves and then um, sewed up the whole thing and then that's kind of just made that pretty trim along the envelope. Right, um, before we head on to the signatures I just want to put the book plate on there. Now I did post on my Instagram, um, I had made a few of these. Now I just found it easier to make almost um, like a snippet roll of them um, and then I could kind of choose which one I wanted so here are the others they're all very much the same because as I said it was like a snippet roll so I had a roll of this lace I then had um, this kind of dark red fabrics underneath I'd stamped them all um, I've done pretty much the same thing and then I just picked which one um, I wanted to use for the front and I think I went with this one for the front um, still not entirely sure what to do with the others some people suggested maybe put in some like little fabric kits together and then you can have this in there so that might be a good idea so look out for those they might be coming in my Etsy shop soon then so I really liked this and because we've got this gorgeous floral design here I was kind of thinking of having it down in this corner now I don't want to make the cover too busy um because I have a really nice chunky red ribbon that I'm thinking of to be kind of the closure that will just be wrapped round. Um, and I don't want to take away from the gorgeous floral pattern either. So I was thinking of this coming down in the corner. However, I still felt that it was a little bit lost. So uh, this is some of that dark red ribbon. And I was thinking that that could go underneath just to help sort of pop that journal plate a little bit more and then I've got uh, part of this this is similar to what I've used uh, here I actually just snipped that that piece off of this piece so I was thinking of kind of having that coming out like something like that uh, on the front just to kind of make it a little bit more pretty um, I did punch a little hole and put a gold eyelet there because I thought that then Kind of ties in with this so that's what I'm thinking for the front so I think I'm going to get those bits stuck down so we'll start with the ribbon yeah, so as I say I was trying to get some bits done off of camera only because I did not want um the video going on for too long or to just have too many videos um i thought at least this way um yeah i think i'll probably get this 
finished as much as I can today anyway obviously I can't get the signatures bound in because I haven't got the elastic um, but I should be able to get the majority done in which case the only next video then will be a flip through once everything's all kind of finished off um, and put together so that is the plan we shall see if that is what actually happens So that goes on there like that, and then this, just need to very quickly poke some of these out. Right, okay, so that's that out, and then this was going to come under here so I'm actually going to take this one off and put that to the side and then just add some glue to the back of these okay I'm just going to gently lift that up a little bit and then pop that under there Okay, I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really quite pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side for a minute then and we can start working on the signatures. Right, okay, so we have our three signatures. Now again, I've done a little bit of prepping off of camera just because it's um, quicker, but you will be able to easily see what it is that I have done. So I'll take you through signature by signature they are by no means finished they do need some work done to them which is what we're going to do um, now but I just want to do a quick walkthrough first so we've got a mixture of the printed pages um, I have done a little bit of stamping on some of the pages um, I've got this gorgeous um, paper that has actual petals inside this gorgeous handmade paper um, I've been doing some tea staining again so I've got some tea stained paper in there as well uh, you've obviously got the printed pages, again another page with a stamp, printed page, tea dyed, printed page. Then I've got a few other bits that I want to include but I've just shoved them in the middle for now but we'll have to figure out where they're going to go. Um, again a little bit of stamping, you've got the printed pages mixed in with the tea stained and each of the signatures are essentially the same they've got the same kind of papers and things in there um, but I just wanted to kind of show you one of them so that's that I've also got to go with it um, a doily so that can go in there um, I've got a kind of vellum page that's all kind of greens and leaves and florals and things so I thought that would look quite good I've got a little paper bag that I thought I'd include and a book page which I always think are quite nice to include and then I have some graph paper which I've been kind of folding to make various tucks and pockets and things so I thought that would be quite fun to include as well so what I need to do is decide where these things are going um, I have done some stamping but I was thinking of adding either ribbons or laces up the edges or just doing some stitching on my sewing machine so I just need to think about those um, I do have a few bits in here, so I've got some ribbons there, That's some more ribbons, but I have got some kind of scraps in here still from the kit that I might use. I've got some, again, some floral washi tape, I've got some more little leafy die cuts, um, so we might be able to decorate some of the pages with those as well. So I've got that to the side to refer to. So we've got this pink page. So we could have this as maybe a flip out or what else could we use this for? This could be a pocket actually, couldn't it? So if we glued on those three, that's also then a pocket because this side's super pretty because we've got lots of flowers. I mean, this is still pretty, but obviously the writing's half cut off, so it's not something that you can necessarily read. So I think... I might do that, I might 
make this into a pocket. So I'm going to glue those three sides. Something like that. Okay, so we now have a pocket there. Now I may, with my sewing machine, once all the glue's dried, sew around that just to make sure that that's secure. Um, obviously that side's super pretty with all the petals on it, so I don't really want to do anything with that. I'm thinking this is a great journaling spot. So I don't want to do too much, but I'm thinking maybe some washi just to decorate it a little bit. What have we got on the other side? Nothing. So we can wrap the washi around. Now I do love this taller washi only because it just makes then decorating a page a lot easier. I think I've even got this upside down. It's because I'm left handed. I'm opening it the wrong way. And now I've tangled it up, haven't I? There we go, that's better. Right, so let's try and get this stuck in. So I'm just going to put it down the bottom of the page. Smooth it out. And I'm going to wrap it around so it goes on the other side as well. I want it torn about here. Like that, kind of. I'm just going to smooth it down just to really make sure that it sticks. This is a really good washi tape actually, it does stick very well especially to itself as you've just seen okay so we've got that so this is quite lacy so let's maybe break it up with some color i'm going to pop that on there uh, then obviously we've got lots of color here again writing spaces um okay so here i think we might pop the doily in Because we've got obviously nice lace and then lace. Then we've got some stamping. And I do quite like that as the middle. So I think I'm going to put this little fold out then in the middle here. And then. Now the paper bag. I could of course fold it and then I've got two slim pockets. But I quite like that it even hangs out a little bit from the edge. So what I was thinking is with this vellum, if I kind of stick the vellum to the envelope, that holds it in place then, doesn't it? So I think that's what I'm going to do. Now obviously you've got the bulge of the signature, which is why I was putting the papers in first before I started sticking anything down. Um, because this paper bag is not going to get right into the corner, otherwise I'm going to end up folding the paper bag. So I'm just going to do a little pencil mark there. And I'm just going to then add some glue to this.
so the paper bag is now attached to the vellum and that just makes it easier then because that's now going to stick and hold that in place awesome right okay I'm going to quickly take out this one because I like, like I said, that this um, comes out over the edge. But the rest of the pages, I now just need to get even because um, some people don't care about this. Um, it doesn't overly bother me, but you can see that there are di different widths to the pages. So some are sticking out more than others, obviously, where we've got the bulk of the signature. So I'm just going to push that in as far as it can go. And then I am going to cut off those pieces just going to put down this craft mat only because it is um, more sturdy than my glass mat so i'm just going to put that on there just going to use my metal ruler and my craft knife so i'm just going to come up to the edge and just trim down that just gives us a nicer edge there uh, and then I can pop that vellum one back in which I believe no it wasn't there it wasn't there ah, it was this one wasn't it so that's going to go there okay so that just gives us a nice neat even edge and the only bit now that's sticking out at the moment is this but then as I say I will be putting some uh, laces and bits on there as well so that's that cut down to size so now I can start having a look at any laces and things that I want to put down the side okay so I really like this white lace so I'm going to use this I think for the front just grab my scissors Now I do tend to add glue just to kind of get things stuck in place um, when I'm going to sew. It just helps hold everything. So only a little bit of glue. It doesn't have to be a lot. Now there's normally a right way and a wrong way. I think that's the right way. So let's turn it round. So that's going to go up there. Okay, so then we've obviously got that pocket there. That's going to be sewn, so we're going to have some sewn elements around there. That's fine. Um, I think the tea stained papers, I'm going to do a decorative stitch up as well. Um, and then obviously this is a printed one. So let's see if we can get a different coloured um, lace for that. Okay, so I've got these ones as well. I've got a nice blue. This is kind of like a greenish, greyish colour. So I thought these would look quite nice as well. So let's start with the blue for the next one. So this can come down here. And then again, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue just to hold it in place so I can sew. Okay, so we've got that one. Uh, those, like I said, I'm going to stitch up anyway. Then we've got this one, so I might use that for this one.
Okay, then we've got the nice doily. Got that. So I won't put lace along here because obviously I've got my stamped image. So I might leave that middle one um, blank. And then on this one, I think I'll use this colour since we haven't used this one yet. That's a really nice colour actually, I like that one. like that um, let's go back to this one Ooh. like that then we've got our Pocket. that's going to get sewn on that we're not touching and then we need this one so let's use the blue at the back then Now obviously adding lace is optional, you certainly don't have to. Um, some people do really fancy ruffles that would look really, really nice as well. Um, I'm not very good at doing ruffles, I must admit. That's um, something I probably need to practice a bit more. Uh, but I think that just adds something nice to the page as well. So that's one signature done. Okay, the next signature... Uh, that we have then so that's this green one so again it's the same kind of papers um, I have got the addition of some music paper um, but the other bits are kind of essentially the same so I've got some graph paper that I've kind of folded up I've made some pockets um, I've got some vellum book page that kind of a thing I do like different kinds of papers in my journals um, I just think it adds another little bit of interest uh, but again that's totally optional if you just want to use digitals you can um, so let's have a look so those two are very similar in colour so I don't think I want that there so maybe this time We have the envelope to the front, or the little pocket to the front, and I might do the same thing. So I'm going to uh, glue this down onto here. So where do I need to glue to? Up to here. So I'm not going to mark with a pencil, I'm just going to go for it this time. Roughly up to where my fingers are. them down and then that's just going to hold that in place so that's there um, again like I said that's going to have some stitching thinking hmm, I might put the music paper in here but what I might do because this has been folded and this is quite old music paper I might put some washi up the edge just to kind of reinforce that a little bit and since this is such pretty washi we might as well use this one this up the sides and this 
um, washi tape is in sections. You might be able to see that line down there. That's kind of where I'm aiming to tear for. And I'm going to pop that on there. And flip it over. As I said, this uh, this washi tape is super sticky actually, so oh, it's upside down. So I, I think it will work well. Right, last bit then. Much better. Okay, so that actually looks quite quite nice. I like that. Awesome. Okay, so we've got that, and I think that was going to go there, wasn't it? That's going to go there. And I've got this book page. I might save that for the other side. I think I'm going to do the same as what I did on. Um, the other signature where I make this into a pocket because again while it's pretty uh, we've got bits obviously missing from there so I'm just going to put some glue around the three edges and make this on into a pocket on top of that um, music paper So when that dries, that will be then a pocket in there. Right, moving on. So we've got that. We've got that. Uh, so we'll leave that. We've then got this, which I think can go in there. And then. Oh, oh my goodness, come on. And then the doily in the middle. There. I think that goes lovely with that page. Right, so that's, again, that signature. So I'm going to take out the paper bag because obviously that does stick out. And I'm going to do the same. Just knock all the papers to the back. Make sure everything's kind of in and straight. And then I'm just going to cut down any bits that are kind of sticking out. Okay. Again, lovely clean edge. And we can now pop that back in, which I think was in here, wasn't it? last one then so before we do the edges let's look at what we've got I love this paper it's so pretty um, so again we've got some stamping tea stained right where's the bits from the middle let's grab those so here I'm thinking of putting in that Um, here, no, oh, actually, here is where I might put this plastic, um, plastic bag, paper bag. So I'll pop that in there, and again, paper bag in there. Again, I'm going to do exactly the same. Just going to glue it in. Okay, 
that's it. While that dries, moving on. Um, what have we got left? This and the doily, wasn't it? Okay, this might be quite nice to be like a tuck spot, so I might put a tuck spot here, and then the doily. I'll come on that page. Although I might. Oh no, because we've got that there, haven't we? Um, okay, I'm now thinking, do I make this a pocket as well? I think I might. Okay, so yeah. going to glue along the top edge and the bottom edge. Right, before I stick it down, I'm just going to put a little notch in roughly in the middle. Then fold that back over and hopefully with that little notch you'll be able to see that that's now a pocket and of course I'll put some bits in there um, for when it gets given away. Right. So again, that's the signature done. So I'm going to take out that paper bag, rinse and repeat by cutting down the edges. Right, awesome. Okay, so I think the only thing that I want to do now, and they're my three signatures. How gorgeous is that looking? Nice and lacy, lots of bits going on. So I've got... Obviously a pocket there, that's going to be sewn, so that's fine. Um, but I was thinking where I've got, let's move those over, where I've got this grid paper, obviously it doesn't look particularly attractive. Now on the other side of it, I have started doing some decorating. Um, I mean, obviously you could journal on there, so I probably won't mess around with that side too much but obviously where I've started decorating I'm just thinking I can add some more bits um, that key might be quite nice on there actually what else have we got got some green leaves I mean this could be a nice journaling spot so yeah I, I mean I don't want to cover up too much because I want the person who gets this to kind of make it their own as well so I don't want to go overboard um, I mean, some of these stickers and things I can include because this is a tuck spot here, but you've also got a nice big pocket there. So, I mean, I can include some of these as like freebies to go inside the journal anyway, but um, I don't know. I just thought it might be nice to decorate a little bit. So I'm going to add a couple of these bits on here, I think. So that's that. Let's move those off. Yeah, I just think it gives it a little bit of something else so it's just not so plain. So let's have a look. Um, I've got this lovely little butterfly, but it kind of, you lose it in, in there.
Okay, just like that. Right. I think everything else works okay. I mean, obviously, this can be a journaling spot, so I don't really want to mess around with that. I have got a little tear here, though, so I might just put some um, washi tape on just to kind of help that a little bit. then that's it for that signature so I've just got to do the sewing on that one now uh, this one right, this one I probably not going to do too much to because um, kind of I don't know I quite like it as it is again I might just add a tinsy bit of washi tape maybe to the sides So um, this one, this is an envelope from the kit. It was in one of the kind of collage pages. But what I've done is I've actually made it into a pocket. So I've got a pocket there and then obviously the big pocket behind. Um, again, I'll leave that because I think the person might want to do some journaling. So again, I don't really want to uh, interfere with that because, again, I want the person to make it their own. That I don't think I'm going to change. I've got my lace on there. Got a nice big pocket so yep i think that one's done so that just leaves the last one um okay let's have a look so this is also in the kit this was like a collage of all of the pages put together but again i think it just needs something like that and I think that's that side right so that is everything now in and sorted okay so i am going to leave it there for this video so all i need to do off of camera now is to do all of the sewing in the signatures so stitching up the sides um and doing any stitching around pockets and things so i'll do all of that off of camera um what as soon as my elastic arrives i'll be obviously attaching that and getting my signatures actually attached into the journal but other than that we are pretty much there now so this is how it's all looking i think it is beautiful i am so so pleased with this i really really hope that whoever wins this um is just as pleased with it as i am with making it i think it just looks fabulous and i do love all of the laces on there so i'm really pleased with how this is coming together if you've only just come across my channel and you're just watching me do this video and you want to be in for a chance of winning this journal as part of my giveaway, then make sure that you check out video one. I will link it down below. That will give you the instructions of how you need to enter. 
what I will do is in my next video I will do a final flip through of this journal and I will also do the winner's drawing so I will be picking somebody from that first video that has commented because I've got to wait a day or two for my elastics to come that will probably be towards the end of the week so again if you are a subscriber make sure you've clicked that bell so you're notified um, when that video comes out and if you're not a subscriber but would like to be please subscribe click that bell and then you will also be notified of any new videos Right, that's it for me guys. I am so, so excited. I cannot wait to start sewing this and getting this all done and complete and together. Thank you so much to everybody for following along and crafting along if you are crafting along with me. And I'll see you in the next video to see the final flip through and who has won this beautiful journal. Bye for now.